I'm gonna take my marker off so I don't lose it. I'm gonna collimate to 10 by 12. All right, this is gonna be my LPO. So I'm gonna, I want you to pay attention to how I'm get her in position. So what you're gonna tell your patient to do when you want them to roll, I'm gonna tell her, okay, Charlie, I want you to bring your right arm over to your left shoulder. I want you to bend your right knee. And then I just want you to roll away from me. Don't shift your hips, which is what every patient starts to do. So she's gonna roll up. On this, the way the, um, the sponge works, like you have different angles on here. You want this widest part underneath her so that that's a 45 degree angle right here. Does that make sense? Right here is a 45 degree angle. So I'm gonna roll her up and put this under her. Now what I should have done is actually brought her back towards me because she's gonna be too far away. So scoot your hips back this way a little bit. All right, I'll move that for a second. All right, so stomach is still on the left, but now I'm collimated, okay? So I'm gonna do the same thing. I'm gonna put middle finger on the xiphoid, middle finger on the lower border of the ribs, and bring my thumbs together, and then move my table, okay? Xiphoid, lower border of the ribs, X marks the spot. Just gotta watch her elbows in there. Good, just like that. And then I still need left marker on the left side. Try and get that to stand out a little bit like that. Okay, I'm gonna do the same breathing, okay? Put this on you. All right, go ahead and take in a deep breath. Same technique, blow it all out. Close it out. Deep. 